Hey Gems, how you doing? This is V from Diamond in the Rough and I've been busy. How's your day going today? Mine's actually not too bad. My days are starting to improve. Uh, here we go. I have completed Create Love Shares Mountain Kingdom. What do you think of that image? It's got some beautiful sparkle to it. Now if we look at it, I will say it's a 50 by 50, it's a round. Um, I am an affiliate with Create Love Share, so there is a link below. If you click on that link, you will help my channel out. Um, if you are in Australia, this is an Australian company. They do send their diamond paintings in tubes. So they come in tubes like that. This is a different diamond painting, but they come in tubes. We all love our diamond paintings in tubes. Oops, there we go. I knocked that one over. Um, anyway. This has come out quite nice. We can see there's a little temple here. We've got another temple here, a bridge here. Opinion wise for me, bigger would have been better, but then you guys know. <laughs> I go bigger. I prefer bigger all the way. Or with everything I grab for diamond painting anyway. Um, sparkles there, canvas. Okay, if we actually have a look at the back, you can see how this is blue. The image is white. Um, that is something that actually uh, was pointed out by the guys from uh, Create Love Share when they saw me do the unboxing that was like oh, you know that blue isn't going to be blue that's not the colour and as a diamond painting we are used to the canvas colours not matching the colours fully aware of that it's never going to match um, which is I think we're all used to that which is fine um, what else did I find about the canvas? I will say I did have one corner that slid and would not stay still. So what I did do when I worked a little, when I discovered that this was sliding, I worked a small square. Then I used the um, aqua glue. So I used the uh, mon mono aqua, Tombow mono aqua glue. This is something that I do love for diamond paintings. That it doesn't affect the sparkle. But I did have to do it on that square. I have my concerns. But then that was the only square that did actually um, give me an issue. What else can I say? Um, now, that was really great. That was really great um, to, to, well, only one square. What's that in the scheme of things? Nothing else slid, so which is great for poured glue. I didn't have much sliding. I did have maneuverability, but I didn't have much in the way of sliding, which is good. Um, drills. When you get the kit, you know, you've got your two, which is fantastic. Your two legends on either side, plus you get a, a sheet. Now, the great thing about this is when you get the sheet, you're actually able to create your labels out of that. Um, which is fantastic instead of having muck around. They did come in baggies, so I did work from baggies. This is my system for baggies. When I work in baggies, I put them into five, groups of fives with some little balsa wood in between. So I'll just bring that up. So that's just simply in groups of five, and that just makes it easier to find them. So I didn't label these up. I just purely went with my DMC order number which is also symbol, order, number, and all that stuff. Okay, now, coming through to the canvas, symbol-wise. Symbols were pretty good. The only ones that I had issue with, and if I can get the camera to focus, there we go, the five and, where are we, the S. They were the two that I had the hardest trouble with. However, you can see that's a, a blue five and the S is a black and obviously the colour around was different. Um, drill quality. Okay. Let's see. Did I run out of drills? No. I didn't run out of drills. Um, low numbers, yes. But in reality, it's, you know, I got my plate. I have plenty of drills left over. There's no issue there. 
Round drills tend not to have much in the way of trouble with round drills. Big thing with this one though is I did have issues with Um, hang on. No, where is it? Is it eight two three? I can show you a different one actually. I had issue with the three seven five six. I can find my drill tray somewhere. There we go. So my drill tray. Let's have a look at these guys. Oops, I just poured too many in. Hang on a sec. Let me get rid of some of these. Okay, I did have, I think, three different colours that actually I had where I couldn't, I struggled to separate. They weren't too bad. I was able to separate if I squeezed them through my fingers, but there were drills that were stuck together. So... Um, I'm just going to, my easy way of de-kitting, I do not keep my drills anymore, I have plenty. So let's have a look at what's been left over. <laughs> I love making a mess with drills. Let's grab these like this. So how do I feel about this guy, these guys? Um, as a round, yep, great canvas quality. It is the ecological cotton canvas. It is a softer canvas. It's very flexible. It's not overly soft. It's not the velvet feel, which is, you know, I actually have a preference not to have that velvety feel. I, it feels funny on my hands. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. Um, so, pros of this. The good points I'll point out first, obviously. Actually, no. We always like to go the bad, and then we'll stop, we'll we'll make it, and I'll give you the good. So, my issue was I had the clumping drills, um, the five and S. I had an issue with. Um, I had that one corner that was sticky. Oh, that's something I will need to show you. Um, if I look, when I unbox this. There was an oily patch, a couple of oily patches on the back. And I do want to show you how that didn't affect the canvas. Um, but yeah, when I unboxed it, I did point out there was an oily patch. I did talk to uh, the guys at Create Love Share. Uh, they were not aware of it. They did turn around and say they would check their, go and check their ones that they had in stock. Um, to make sure that there was no further others like that. Um, did it affect the canvas? Let's have a look. Watch me spill all these. Watch me spill all these girls. Hang on. Isn't this what vacuum cleaners are good for? It's going to end up on the floor if I'm not careful. There we go. A couple of these ones. Okay, so yeah, that was something on the back. You can see a couple of oil strips don't know what it was that's me I spilled there but it did not affect the canvas okay that did not affect the canvas at all I've now got drills underneath um, didn't affect the canvas at all so positives on this one it was a quick kit up <laughs> I still have some it is very pretty yet again though I would say bigger but yeah it is very pretty very pretty. Um, details are pretty good. Sparkle, excellent. Quick delivery, great company in in way of communication because I actually did have communication with these guys because I sent them the video of the unboxing and they came back to me and said they, they were the ones that pointed out the difference in the colour which didn't concern me um, when I reached out in relation to the spots on the back. Um, they turned around and said they hadn't had that before, but they were going to go through and check to make sure nobody else was, none of the other canvases were the same. Um, so communication with them was really good. Um, this is actually the second one I ordered. The first one I haven't started yet. 
Um, so that one will be coming up, which is ancient Japan. Um, but all in all, very happy with it. So yeah, check them out. The link is down below. Um, Australian company, quick delivery. So there we go. That's the good thing about that. On that note, I will say this is the leftover drills. Oh, with a couple of plastic bags. In it. <laughs> Hang on. So it did have um, a good lot of um, drills left over. No one drill colour ran short. So yeah, gems, go check them out. Um, on that note, I will say, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And uh, I'll talk to you uh, for uh, the next one. Bye.